we all dealt with this topic ad nauseum on Sunday. Yep. Uh, the pundits everywhere certainly did. Ray brings a very unique perspective to this because as an ex-player, he was overseas there in London, and you've already set the stage with how much the conversation was about everything but football. But you seemingly, from the optics, got caught up in this as well, too, because, in fact, you did take a knee when you are allegedly on record as saying that you never would. Talk about Actually, what Actually, two happened. knees. And that's the point. Let's make, let's make sure. You hear people saying, oh, he took a knee. I absolutely not, did not take a knee. I walked onto the battle. Hold on, let's be clear. When you say you hear people say. People, you hear people. You hear Shannon Sharp going out there talking about I dropped on a knee and this is about, oh, I sat in the chair next to him and, and I said I would never do this and I still didn't do it. I'm watching young kids just confused. Everybody confused. Nobody don't know what they're talking about. What am I going to do if I'm going to stand up, if I'm going to grab hands, if I'm going to interlock? I'm, what am I going to do? So I walked away, JB, and I didn't drop on one knee in order to protest. Boom, I dropped on two knees, both knees, so I can simply honor God in the midst of chaos. And, Ray, now hold on. So you are passionately making this point, which, by the way, you were very passionate in our production meeting as well. So put a little bit of context on this. The reason you mentioned Shannon, meaning Shannon Sharp, your yeah. former teammate, why are you mentioning him? He, what does he have to do? He goes out and tells somebody why he's so disappointed in me. In you? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, I'm 42 years old with six kids. I'm a grown man. So to be disappointed in me, it really, like, sparked me. And now all of these people are going off his sound bites of how he's so shocked that I dropped on the knee to protest. Really? You got my phone number, brother. A friend. A friend? A friend picks up the cell phone and say, bro, what was your intention? What were you doing? You saw my mouth moving. I asked the And your Lord, mouth moving was because? Friend. Now, just I, this makes me ask you a real a serious question. I have First Amendment rights myself. We got people standing. We got people bowing. We got people don't even want to respect the flag. If we want to make it right, make it two ways. You can only stand or pray. We used to and have you, it like that. And you chose to pray. So to be clear about this, you didn't drop on one knee, as you said you wouldn't do, because you disagreed with that form of protest, but you dropped on two knees. I never will agree with that. Mm -hmm. So you maintain that position. I do too much with the military. I do too much for cops. I do too much meeting with high-level officials trying to fix the problems in these neighborhoods. I do way too much, JB, and I just want to get into this and, and let everybody understand why, JB. When I was 10 years old, I watched my mother walk up to me with two bloody eyes from being beaten, and I couldn't understand why. And I didn't have a father. I didn't have nobody to come and say, son, it's all right. And I saw my mother praying one day. And I said, mama, why are you praying on your knees? She said, son, when you got chaos in your life, this is where you go. And all I knew to do, not just on Sunday, but if you follow my track record, you've seen me fall on my knees in Denver. You saw me fall on my knees in New England. When I got to New Orleans, I fell on my knees because of my mother taught me what I should do in the midst of chaos. So when a brother attacks me talking about I took a knee on my country, I fight for my country. I fight for my country. And the only thing I would love to just ask, like, I got all these former teammates saying all of this, but was you disappointed in me when, when I walked with Trayvon Martin family? I took both of my sons, and I wanted them to see what walking with injustice felt like because I had lived it. Was you disappointed in me when Mike Brown was killed in St. Louis? I went to St. Louis and gave jobs. Were you disappointed in me then? Shannon, were you busy? Were you busy when Trayvon Martin family was walking? Because I didn't see you there. Were you busy when Mike Brown was killed? Because I didn't see you there either. I live black. I'm from the streets. I've been doing this 22 plus years fighting injustice. Ray, I'm asking a very obvious yeah. question. Then. So you're, you're pained to the core that people would question your character and integrity and commitment to this? You, can't, you can never question. 
Boomer, we pray before we come out the locker room. True or false? True. Phil, we pray before we come out the locker True. room. True. So why not pray in full stadiums? And that's what the two knees represent. That's what the two knees represent. I'm no, I'm no standing hook and protesting because Trump can't bother me what he said, I, no matter how bad it was. But it's a brotherhood that I have to lead young men. They're watching a leader who once came before them. So what do I do? I can't grab an arm with him because that means I'm mad at what Trump said. I ain't in the league no more. So you know what, Ray? It's abundantly clear as we feel passionately, palpably, what you're feeling about this as well, too. Uh, and we were just discussing it with uh, Stephen Espinoza of uh, Showtime, that this is a very weighty and emotional issue, to say the least. Um, and so many people, unfortunately, are talking past what the issue is. Hmm. And the only effective way to make progress on this is for us to truly listen to one another and, more importantly, to hear what the other person is saying. I hear you. I appreciate your passion and the fact that Boomer and uh, Phil both gave you this platform to speak about what is absolutely on your mind. Yeah. And you know what? There's no question that this kind of discussion and the story will continue, as Ray has indicated, from over in London. It will continue in locker rooms here stateside and stadiums and households across the country. And, folks, we will continue to report on this and all developments as it relates to this issue.